Wow! I finally played my first doubles tournament since 2020 and even got a medal! Not a bad start for my 2023 season, right? Well, in all honesty, it was not all fun and games. Actually, it was quite a disaster. But let's go one step at a time. It's Friday and even though our first doubles match is scheduled at 5 p.m. and the second one at 8, I'm heading to practice. The sun is out and wow, such a blue sky. I couldn't feel more energetic. Practice goes great, to when I are feeling good and I truly cannot wait to be back on court with her on the same side of the net. It will be so much fun, I know it! For lunch, I take myself on a solo date to the closest sushi place and oh my god, such a terrible idea! The sushi sucks big time, but I have no choice but to stuff my mouth with it, smile at the waiter and run back to the club. Tu and her boyfriend are giving me a ride, so I cannot be late. Once at the club, we get ready, check in and voila, it's soon time to go kick some butt. The plan for today is to have fun. It's been so long, we barely remember how it is to play next to each other. So in theory, we don't really have high expectations. Except that we do, because we're still undefeated together. One thing is for sure though, we want to try something new. So we are switching sides. I'm staying on the forehand and she is staying on the backhand. That is a big change. But let's see how it turns out. The first match starts fast and in no time we find ourselves asking each other, what is going on? going on here? Our opponents are twins and well, they get along pretty well. They play aggressive and like being both at the net, which is honestly quite rare to see here in Finland. Even looks like real doubles. But after the initial shock, we step up and show them who's the boss. We end up winning 6-3, 6-1. Time for rest, a snack or two and a little look at our next opponents. Their match is long. They win the match tiebreak after coming back from a set down. Good for us. At least they should be tired. They just ask for a 15 minute minutes break. So around 9 pm we step on court for the semis. Once again our opponents are sisters and once again we start slow. Nothing seems to work. We are struggling to find our game and soon find ourselves one set down. What is going on again? Something needs to change now. I'm getting super frustrated, which never happens to me by the way, and I don't even know why. Now, in hindsight, I know exactly what was going on. Somehow I had forgotten I was playing doubles, so I was trying to break down my opponents from the baseline all by myself, instead of building the points so that Tufu could finish it at the net. But hey, it's so easy to see and judge from the outside. Not that easy when you are in the moment. Plus, need to give credit to our opponents. They are playing super solid from the baseline and using the angles in a smart way to push us out of the court. In the second set, I start meditating during the changeovers, trying to get rid of my frustration. And it does work. We step up our service games to fewer unforced errors and keep the rallies more down the middle for better chances at the net. Anyway, we hang in there until 5-5 when the worst happens. We are 15 all and they suddenly win two points in a row with a net cord. What? No way! Okay, now we are going to win this freaking thing. fired up, I get laser focused and we win the game on the deciding point. Come on! After that, a little hiccup on the next game, but then all downhill from there. Their mistakes start to stack up, their frustration goes through the roof and voila, 
Game, set and match. Oh my goodness, we made it. Trust me when I tell you, it actually took us a day to get around the idea that we found a way to win that match. Giving up was just not an option for us. It's Sunday, yes, we're scheduled, I know. And it's finals day. I go warm up with Dupe around lunchtime. And yep, feeling pretty good. Little chat and okay, it's decided. Today we're going back to our original sides. I'll be on the back end and she'll be on the forehand. Then back home, quick lunch and time to leave. This time no ride, so first bus, then train and finally little walk to the club. Our match is the last one on the schedule, but once we arrive we are asked whether it's okay for us to play it right away. We happily agree, not sure why. And from being early, we are suddenly in a rush changing and heading to the court. Maybe not the smartest idea? Right from the start, the match feels like a replay of the previous one. Not much is going on and our opponent's sisters once again are just better than us at keeping the ball in play and finishing the point at the net. The first set goes by fast for them, but so does the second one for us. Something finally clicks and instead of waiting for who knows what, we start being proactive and go get the point when we have the chance. Die wreck again, and this time we tighten up. No bueno. Easy mistakes here and there, a bunch of bad returns, and voila, the match is gone. We lose. Wow, I really did not expect that. What a disappointment. We are beatable after all. I mean, of course I knew we would end up losing at some point, but not today. Losing is tough, but losing without never really finding your best game is terrible. Next time we'll do better, you have my word. But now, back to work. Time to get stronger and smarter. Hope you enjoyed this video. If so, smash the like button and subscribe for more tennis life. And I'll see you in the next one.